What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another luxury home tour. My name is Darren Kriz and today we are going to give you a full tour of this brand new Cheviot Hills Mansion. Cheviot Hills is a neighborhood on the west side of Los Angeles, conveniently located between Beverly Hills and Culver City. It's in very close proximity to Fox Studios, Sony Studios, and Rancho Park Golf Course. This property features a total of seven bedrooms, eight bathrooms, 6,700 square feet of interior space, and is currently on the market for just under $5.7 million. I also wanted to thank the listing agents Mia Kim and the developer of this home for letting us tour their incredible listing. Starting our tour in the front of the house, I love a lot of the homes here in Cheviot Hills. When you look up at them from the street, they just look like a behemoth of a mansion, especially this one. And we've got a long driveway leading up to that motor gate. We'll show you when we get out there, but let's head up these stairs get up to the front door. This house has incredible curb appeal in the modern style home. Lots of wood paneling on the exterior as well as the white stucco finishes. But here we are up the steps. We've arrived to the front door. As you see, we are surrounded by wood on the exterior and there's an open pocket right above me. There's also a space back here where you can maybe put a sculpture, give it a nice display in the front of your house before you head inside. But let's just show you the inside. And we have made it inside this incredible modern home. I can't wait to show you guys. It honestly has one of my favorite floor plans from any of the homes that we've toured on this channel. But before we show you the open concept space, we're gonna take a turn this way, is the first bedroom. The first bedroom in the house is very spacious. You can have it as a guest bedroom or an office. Potentially, we are right outside the front door, so it would be very easy to conveniently walk inside to your home office or your guest bedroom for any friends that wanna stay over. Closet is to my left, and I do like that there is a linear window right behind me that brings in some natural sunlight to this room. It also has a bathroom. And right away, I just love this bathroom. Look at the incredible tile on the floors, the same ones you'll see on the wall surrounding the shower. Almost looks like you're in a luxury cave, in my opinion. And you see some beautiful concrete countertops here on this floating vanity. Wood drawers down there below. And just an incredible bathroom for your guests. But let's walk out of this room and let's show you the open space. So here we are in the living room, just as you enter and take a turn to your right, we have oversized windows on the front of the home, bringing in a ton of natural sunlight, built-in speakers above, recessed lighting throughout. Over in this corner is a gas fireplace. You can have a flat screen TV up above if you'd like. And right below that fireplace is a nice ledge to sit down, maybe enjoy the fire on a cold night right next to it. And the living room is opened up to your formal dining room. One thing that stands out in this dining room is the light fixture above. You have a 3D looking like very modern light fixture above your dining table. A couple of mirrors on this side, a window above that. Plenty of space here to eat and it's not right next to the kitchen so you can't really see what's going on while they're cooking you meals, getting ready to be served. But as we walk right next to the dining room, we gotta show you what's in this door. Now, at first I thought this was a closet, but it's actually the powder room. So in this powder room, we have the floating vanity extending from wall to wall with marble countertops and then your sink in the very center of it. Lots of countertop space, as I said. Wood drawers down there below, your toilets in this corner, and I love the large slabs of tile on the floor, same ones we see on the walls in a darker gray shade. And then your mirror is the entire wall on this side. That's an oversized mirror if I've ever seen one. But out of this powder room, let's walk this way. 
So to my right is your staircase, and this is an iPad that's built into the wall. This is a complete smart home, and everything is voice activated in here from the lights, the speakers, even the waterfall outside. Can't wait to show you guys the backyard, but we're almost there. We've got the kitchen, an absolutely incredible chef's kitchen. Now, as we first walked in, Raul said, oh my goodness, that has to be my top five favorite kitchen, in my top five for sure. And I would have to agree, I love all of the oak wood on the cabinetry going all the way up to the ceiling, just unlimited amount of storage space. And then just take a look at how massive this island is. It's at least 12 feet long. You have marble countertops, breakfast bar seating on the outside facing the family room area. You got pop-up outlets as well built in. It's not a waterfall edge, but it does have a nice black sturdy feature in that finish right there. And you might have missed it, on this side of the island, you have a temperature controlled wine rack. I love that it's surrounded by that same oak wood you see throughout the kitchen. It complements each other very well. As we keep moving this way, more marble on the countertops. You have a second sink to my right. The backsplash up here is the same marble that we see on all the countertops. On the island here, built-in Bosch microwave right next to your dishwasher. To my left, we have six burner gas stove and dual wolf ovens. Above that is more marble on that backsplash. You can see that the marble and the oak wood complement each other incredibly in this kitchen overall. Over on this side, two more built-in wolf ovens, what? Some pantry space here in the middle and then a massive sub-zero fridge and freezer. Last but not least, here in this kitchen, we have two linear light fixtures hanging right above this center island in a super modern look. It's not too extravagant, it's not too subtle. I think it's just right for this kitchen. But right outside of the kitchen, we have pocket doors opened up, giving you that indoor-outdoor flow, and here we are. This is a very rare backyard, and there is a special feature back here that you're gonna wanna stick around for, so stay tuned. So right away in the backyard, we have paneled wood on the floors, seating area on the outside here. Outdoor dining as well, right next to your built-in bull barbecue grill. Incredible stone on the countertops and wood down there below. And we're gonna walk this way. To my right, you can see all of these rock features that lead up to the waterfall on your infinity pool. And up these steps is just your super private pool backyard area. You've got trees that are gonna grow to make it more private here. Nobody can see you in your pool, in your spa. And then here is the special feature that I was talking about. If you look on the wall, it might just look like a giant blank white wall, perfect for watching movies potentially. And on the opposite side, there is a projector that projects movies up on that white wall. So you can watch anything you want while you're hanging out in the pool. Maybe you can put some chairs right here and watch a nice movie at night. We're gonna throw up some pictures on the screen for you guys to see what it would look like if it were the nighttime. I think that's just an incredible feature. You don't see that too often in a house, but let's keep moving. And right outside of this living area outdoors, you have an outdoor shower with a bench if you wanna sit down, don't wanna shower inside after a nice long swim. And right next to this is your carport covered in paneled wood on the ceilings. Plenty of space to fit a couple cars. And the driveway consists of large square concrete slabs and a rock pattern. And this is your ADU or guest house with pocket doors. And now here we are. This first room can serve as maybe an entertainment room, but it's currently an office. I do like it, stages an office. You can look right out in through your entire house from this view. But let's walk through this door. There's another door that leads into here if you wanna park your car out there and conveniently walk into this guest house. And now let's head upstairs. So this is not your typical ADU or guest house. Just take a look at your living room, your kitchen, Right away, you're gonna notice that the finishes are absolutely incredible. It's a miniature version of the kitchen in the main house. We have a fridge air, fridge and freezer, oak cabinets around, marble countertops, your sink, marble backsplash, built-in microwave, oven, four burner gas stove. You have a breakfast bar with a sunken down wood finish. That's incredible. More marble throughout, the same light fixtures, just everything you had in the main house, but in a smaller version. 
There's even enough space for a circular breakfast table right in front of your kitchen. And there's a sliding door that opens up to a backyard for your guest house. Did you hear that right? I said a backyard for your own guest house. This is not attached to the main house at all. If your guests are living here, they can have their own private outdoor space. There is some turf out here and there are outdoor seating areas as well. You have everything you need. There's also a slider leading into one of the bedrooms that we're gonna show you now. One of two bedrooms here in your guest house and you also have that den office space downstairs and there is the sliding door that leads to the outdoors. Absolutely incredible. A full walk-in closet next to the entrance and here is a full bathroom as well. A full luxury bath at its finest in your guest house. Gray tiles on the floors, the same ones on the wall into the shower. Also clad onto this bathtub built into the shower. Floating vanity, incredible countertops. Wood cabinets and drawers down there below. Overall, 10 out of 10. Now let's check out the second bedroom right next to this one. But before we do that, there is a bathroom right next to the staircase that is the exact same as the one in that bedroom, except there is no bathtub in this one. But let's check out this room. So here we are, you can see this room is sunken down a bit from the level above. You have some rock features out there through the window. Some natural sunlight is coming in as well immediately. It does not have a full bath attached. If someone's staying here, they can use the bathroom right next to the staircase, but there is some closet space in front of the bed. Just overall, everything you need in this room. Now let's leave this ADU. Guess in the comments below how much you think that would be worth if it was a standalone house by itself. It would probably be pretty expensive. But let's walk back inside and show you the rest of this first main level. So here we are right next to the wide staircase and opened up from the kitchen. This is your family room. Just very spacious, high ceilings, built-in speakers, as I said, recessed lighting. And if you go this way back in the corner is a door that leads to that carport where we just were. And on this opposite side, there is a hallway. There's a door to my right and more stairs to my left, the second staircase here in this first level. Let's check out this bedroom. A little bit smaller than a couple of the other bedrooms, but we are side facing. Some natural sunlight does come in from the west. There is a full walk-in closet back in this corner. It's also en suite with a full bath. Very similar finishes in here compared to the other bathrooms we've seen, such as the tile on the floors, covering the entire shower, same vanity we've seen in the other bathrooms. So let's keep moving on. Okay, that was everything here on this main level of this incredible home. We showed you the backyard, the ADU, the kitchen, the living room, but now we gotta go upstairs and show you the bedrooms up there. The master is absolutely unreal and the rooftop deck is mind blowing. So let's do it. Making our way up this very wide staircase to the second level, you can see the modern glass railing to my left and the high ceilings with four skylights bringing natural sunlight down to the stairs. And as we make our way up to the second level, there are three total bedrooms up here, including the master. And right away on this common landing area, there's a linear window looking out into the front of the home and you get some views. But let's make our way into this bedroom. So right away in this bedroom, you'll notice that natural sunlight is just hitting the bed. That's great to wake up to if you're sleeping all the way into the afternoon. But as you see right behind me is a glass door that leads up to the stairs, which go to the rooftop deck. But that's gonna be at the end of the video. There's also a balcony. You're gonna notice these balconies have wood planks on all of the floors. And there's just a lot of space out here. Definitely enough space to put some chairs. I like the rock features in front of me with the plants, they stretch all the way out to the second balcony, which is the master bedroom next door. And you just get views from out here into the hills. Absolutely incredible. And a brief walk into this bathroom. Similar finishes in this bathroom that we've been seeing with the tiles on the walls leading into the shower as well as on the floors and the same vanity in the other bathrooms as well. But right across this hall, is your entrance to the master bedroom. 
Just a very spacious master bedroom overall, and you're not gonna wanna miss the closet, the bathroom, absolutely unreal. There's nothing like it, honestly. And front facing, there is that second balcony. And one detail to point out before we make our way out onto this balcony, you look down, there's another rock pattern before we step onto the wood planks. You're gonna see more of those features on the rooftop deck as well. And there's just a lot of space. It stretches to the corner of the house. You can put another chair right here if you wanna relax and just face your views and enjoy a nice sunny day in LA all year round. Back inside the bedroom, as we keep walking, there is a pocket door right here. It's not just fully open. That can close if you want some privacy in your bathroom. So there's a lot to this bathroom. First, as you enter and take a turn to your right, there is the toilet room on the opposite side. You might not see it when you first walk in, but this is where the shower is located, tucked back behind the vanity. That's something very unique. It almost just blends into that glass wall and you have light beige tile all around, large chrome shower head, a shower bench, handheld one as well, everything you need in that shower. And just take a look at this vanity. Same finishes we've seen in the other bathrooms, but of course, this is a dual vanity with two sinks and the countertops stretch the entire length all the way to the wall. Oversized mirrors above both sinks, lots of lights. You have a skylight above me as well. To my left, you have elevated platform tile and your freestanding Hydro Systems tub with an oversized window bringing in sunlight so you can have a spa day in your own house. And what is this? Oh, whoa, I thought that was more bathroom, but it's a mirror actually, almost ran into that. As we keep moving, this is the closet. It just opens up to the bathroom and the lights are a little bit more dim in here, I noticed, so it's a very nice vibe in this closet. It seems completely different from the bathroom where you're getting a lot of natural sunlight. But if you do want some more sunlight directly through the closet, there are double doors that lead into this changing room. This could also be just a hangout room as well, right outside of your master, because you can look out into the backyard, the pool, where the projector screen is. So you just have some nice views out here and some sunlight will come down here as well in the morning time. Back into the closet. This has to be one of the largest mirrors I've ever seen. It takes up the entire length of this wall. That is incredible. Definitely easy to change and see yourself put on your shoes or whatever you need to put on. And it takes up this shape where it's curved. There are lots more wood cabinets and drawers on this side as well. You have a center island, the same wood you see throughout. Just a massive closet overall. And there's a second door that you can lock because it does lead into another hallway and another bedroom. So if you don't want your kids or whoever lives in there to bother you, you can lock this door. But we're gonna walk through this door. And right outside of that is the laundry room. So it's very convenient from your closet. You can take your clothes out of there and throw it in the laundry. And then as I said, there's a hall that leads to the stairs, the second staircase that we didn't go up from the bottom level, but there is a room right next to this. And this is the last bedroom of the house, also back facing. You can see the pool in the backyard. There is a full walk-in closet in front of me. That's pretty spacious. And it's also en suite, has a full bathroom. Now we do have a full bathroom in here, same finishes as we see in all the bathrooms in this house, except the tile is clad onto a built-in tub. So that's why this could be a room for the children or someone that just likes taking a bath in general. But now we've got one more thing to see in this house. That was everything, the first level, the second level, but now we gotta go up to the rooftop deck. Let's do it. As we take a turn up these steps, I love the dark tile on the stairs, contrasting very nice with the white walls. Makes it a really grand entrance to the rooftop deck. And all, right away, you just see unreal views of the mountains, the hills. Wow, we can finally see downtown LA in the distance. We weren't able to a little earlier this morning. But look at that, not a cloud in the sky. What do you know? I think the weather just knows when we're gonna be shooting at a rooftop deck because every time we're up on one, there are no clouds in the sky, except you see the sun over on this side. And so look at this deck, it's massive. You have wood planks on the ground. And one detail that is pretty unique that I wanna show you guys is that immediately as you arrive up the steps to this rooftop deck, you have a square block bordered by some stone features. 
meant to bring you some good vibes and positivity immediately as you arrive to your deck and the outdoors. And I just feel better already, right as I stepped onto that. But here we have a long linear gas fire pit in the center of the deck. You can see the wood panels all around us. Also, this rooftop deck is bordered by more rocks, just sending out the vi bad vibes and keeping the good ones in here. It's also sunken down to a turf area with some lounge seats. And there's so much space up here. You can do really whatever you want, throw the football around, hang out, have some drinks, just enjoy LA. We just showed you everything here in this incredible modern home in Cheviot Hills. We are on the rooftop deck now with Raul. Raul, what was your favorite part about this home? Man, there's so much good things to say, so many good things to say about this house. I love all the elements that the builder chose to use on this. I was a big fan of the rocks, a big fan of the dark wood, the countertops. Um, another thing that really stood out to me was this rooftop deck, obviously. The master bedroom, the master closet, master bath, everything was just up to par and absolutely am amazing. Yeah, to, to, to summarize that, Raul loved everything. <laughs> From the master to the kitchen to the rooftop deck, the views, there's really nothing to dislike about this house. One of my favorite features is definitely the massive projector screen outside next to the pool. Now, how often have you seen that in a home? Not too often at all. I also really like the ADU. There's two bedrooms up there. It's really just like a miniature version of this house, as I said when we were over there. But let us know what your favorite part about this one was down in the comments below. We want to know. Thank you guys so much for watching till the very end of the video. I really like this house a lot. I hope you did as well. If you did, smash the like button down below. We really appreciate it. Also hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. I also wanted to thank the listing agent, Mia and the developer of this home again for letting us tour their incredible home. And we'll see you guys in the next one.